The city is thinking about food because it's a really key component of a sustainable and resilient city. Everybody eats. And the way that we grow our food, to how we access our food, to how we even deal with food waste, all has a lot of impacts on our environment and our health. So the city has started to look at different ways that we can both strengthen our local food system by growing more sustainable food, but also increase access within the community to healthier local foods. So one of the first things we need to do is increase local food production. If you look at the food that we currently eat, specifically fruits and vegetables, Utah is only growing 2% of the vegetables and 3% of the fruits that we consume. So there's a lot of reasons for that. The, the majority of our food is imported. And um, part of it is that we don't have a lot of farmers that are growing fruits and vegetables, but we're also losing agricultural land. And this is not something that's specific to Utah. It's something that's happened nationally. In fact, the American Farmland Center estimates that we're losing around 40 acres an hour, which is roughly the equivalent of 30 football fields. So we need to figure out innovative ways to not only grow food locally, but also to look at how we're protecting existing agricultural lands. A program we just initiated was the Local Micro Grant Fund. And this is for local food production. So it's micro grants aimed at local farmers that are using sustainable agriculture techniques. And they can apply for funding so they can implement projects like drip irrigation, buy seeds, maybe install a hoop house, but just expand their existing agricultural operations so they can produce more. We also just identified a parcel of land that we're putting out to bid to see if we can get a farmer to lease that property. And the reason we're doing that is because the city has some parcels that are not currently being used for anything and maybe have a weed management problem. So if we look at those as opportunities, as increasing farmland or access to land to grow food, we can start seeing more fruits and vegetables grown within city limits. So the micro grant program and the land that we're identifying is specifically for farmers. But what we would encourage residents to do is not only support those farmers by shopping at the local farmers market, there's also going to be a farm stand on site at the new um, farming parcel, but they could also start to grow a little bit of their own food too. We have some great resources on slcgreen.com that talk to people about how much they can grow in their backyard, aerial maps that help people design garden and figure out you know, what they can grow in their backyard based on solar radiation. And so we have a lot of neat tools online that they can use too.